The river feels cold yet gentle at midnight. The water will stroke people's ankles until all the worries are washed away. <sighs> Good night. May you sleep tight like the black cobblestone at the bottom of Lake Baikal. The river feels cold yet gentle at midnight. The water will stroke people's ankles until all the worries are washed away. <sighs> Good night. May you sleep tight like the black cobblestone at the bottom of Lake Baikal. When we travel on the tundra, the sleet is the last thing we would like to see. The muddy snow water would be mixed with root pieces and infiltrate into your boots through every crack. Your legs would be dragged down and down until you can't lift them anymore. In past years, the festive animals used in the Fortune Walk and the Bridge Leap were less than three. A cow, a goat, and a donkey, without exception. The poorer the harvest, the less food for the animals and less well-fed donkeys. So people had to use horses instead. However, aren't there too many festive animals this time? Even if it is for celebrating the birth of Jishu, not to mention some of them are transformed from humans, we shall act prudently. If we have to cancel the ceremony, we must make the decision before New Year's Eve. giant bird, a feather man. I... There's always trouble around New Year's. Are you responsible for this place? It was someone else when I last visited. <sighs> no matter, 
I have an urgent matter to discuss, or it will be too late. I'm Ge Tian, and I'm here to advise caution. The lady owner of the tavern can turn people into Lu Shu. She needs to be stopped, or more people will suffer. She has extremely light bones, which means she's still in the stage of development. She might be unstable, hence a danger to keep in the city. You are referring to Jiu Nangzi. Precisely. Bones. Are you the goddess of Li Mountain that can read one's bones? But you don't look like her at all. I am no goddess of Li Mountain. Then your words have no weight at all. <laughs> you should have claimed to be her. Besides, goddess of Li Mountain, take a look around you. You mean these paper cutouts? A man faced burned with a red tail. You are drawing me. But I'm not a Xiang Rei. These paper cuts won't send me your prayers and wishes. They are not paper cutouts for worshiping the Shangri, but wanted posters, and you are wanted. The most important thing is to find Jiu Niangzi. She's the culprit of the missing persons case in the city. <laughs> I thought you came here to confess or make peace, but it seems not. You come to defame Jiu Nangzi while being ignorant of the fact that you are the top suspect. How am I related to this? Every time a disappearance was reported, you were witness bringing animals to the Jutsu. No, the nature of my visit has been taken wrongly. The Zhili there knew what I came for. <laughs> when we arrived at the Jutsu, you had already fled without a trace. No one could testify in front of the Fa Jiao for her. So her words were considered nonsense. Now she has returned to her hometown. I wouldn't have shown up in the city if not for the urgent matters. What's the purpose of lingering around when my business is done here? Besides, the Jutsu allowed arcane skills to be cast without restrictions in the city. So it is your responsibility to bear the consequences of such negligence. You are very articulate. 
But how can you explain the testimony provided by the two foreign merchants? All roads are leading to you. Yes, the two foreigners. Do you confess? They are the other reason why I'm here. One of the two is here with us. She can explain to you. of your discontent because I didn't treat you as a guest offer you a seat and give you a cup of tea no this should not be why why didn't your akin skill work this time or must it be clean water to reflect it no, the water in the river was no cleaner. How did you do it earlier? Truthfully, why are you troubling me instead of going after Zhou Niangzi? Find some clean water. I'll prove it to you. That's enough. Surrender now. I will not fight you, but neither will you have me. Hey. Be careful not to hurt that horse. It might be one of the victims. Candy. An eye for an eye. Candy. 
troops. Your strength will eventually run out. Is this necessary? Find me the clean water and I will show you what Jiu Niangzi has done. How will I know if you're using your arcane skill to fake the result? The truth is, we know the girl very well, but nothing about you. No one had gone missing in Pei City before you showed up. So how can we trust you or your proof? And you have denied that you are a Shang Rei. <sighs> it is true that I'm not a Shang Rei, nor have I ever visited here. I never wanted to leave the mountain. You still left. I really shouldn't have come to the human world. What do you mean? My people have left the mountain and come to help you. They renounce their names, families, and even lives for you. They gave up everything so that you would have gods to worship. They became symbols, totems, Accept themselves. What are you talking about, Feather Man? I told you my name. I'm not a Feather Man. This Feather Man is not one of us. No need to call him by name. Seems like my people have been long forgotten. You forgot the Gotians who left the mountain, the city builders, the bridge masters, the flood fighters. They all faded into oblivion. You only remember the gods of Shuti, who never answered to your prayers. That's why I'm discouraged. By the idea of leaving the mountain like my people, I don't want to face such suspicion and disbelief after giving you all the help. Who, who are you? Now that I see it, the destruction of the bridge was inevitable. It was bound to happen, like I was bound to be left in the mountain and be the last of us. The bridge? Did you have something to do with the broken bridge? Featherman, tell us! Question no more. You can have me. If that's what you want. Jiuning, sir. Please wait. Come no further! Huh?
ran out of there? That thing took away the lady. What's going on? Now we lost another witness. Did you plan this? I left my wand in her tavern yesterday. Ask her. You will know. Jionangzi, is that so? We did find a bone in the yard, but it's with that foreign lady now. Tie him up first. Do you have more to say? Everything I need to tell you, I have spoken at all. Catch her now, or even a real Xiang Rei cannot save you from the disaster. Why are you so obsessed with calling Jiu Nangzi the culprit? What? You... Uh, I... I am the culprit? What kind of culprit am I? It's fine, Jiu Nangzi. We all know you have nothing to do with the missing person's cases. And, and he said, said that even a real Xiang Rei cannot save you. He's more of a fake one to me. Stay calm. We will hold him in detention in Zizhi for now. I'll report this to the Fatsao. The first thing to do is catch up with the horse and the foreign lady. And find his wand to figure out his arcane skill. Take him away. Everyone else dismissed. Jiu Nangzi, follow me. There is something we need to talk about. What do you want, Feather Man? Jiu Nangzi? You looked like a decent Xiang Rei. Why did you say something like that? Even, even if you're not... Aren't you afraid that the real Xiang Rei will blame you for doing the wrong thing? Jiu Nangzi, it is true that he is not the Xiang Rei of our city. The Xiang Rei who once protected our city has been long lost. But, but everyone thinks the Feather Man on the mountain is the Xiang Rei. Just, just look at him. How could people not take him as a Xiang Rei by his look? The former Zhili told me that the Feather Man looks like a Gomang, just like what was depicted in a picture book. A Gomang is a confirmed Xiang Rei recorded in a book. Jiu Nangzi. But this man, of course he is not a Xiang Rei. He isn't like the Gomang, nor the Mianmeng. He doesn't even understand the saying of, um, one can remove the footsteps, but not the, the path one walketh on. 
one can remove the footsteps, but not the path one walketh on. That's fair. One cannot commit wrongdoing without leaving a trace. However, we can't convict him without definitive evidence, such as witnesses and his wand. The trace he left is yet to be found. Feather Man, do you know what is a real Xiang Rei? Do you know where it is? Why did you take people's friends away and accuse me of being the culprit? given by heaven, so you should not act against the nature of your look just because of your personal preference. You could have become a much-loved spirit like in the stories and picture books, as everyone expects you to be. But you, when you took away that foreign lady's teammates, you didn't care about their feelings. They didn't want to be separated. You disappointed people. That's not what the Xiang Rei should do. All right, Xiu Niaozi. That's enough. Take him away. I... He didn't tell me anything, nor did he tell anyone. I know you're chasing after anything that could be a Xiang Rei, but the Feather Man has clearly claimed that he is not one. To be honest, judging from his attitude, he has never had the intention to be one. I don't understand. How could he not want to be one? Not everyone is so interested in the legend of Xiang Rei. The Pei City did have a good era under the protection of the Zhang Reis. But after all these years, no one can recall that time without the help of the mythologies and the history books. Even I can't be sure if there is a real Zhang Rei. But Jiu Niangzi, you should know that we don't need a Zhang Rei anymore. We don't need it? With no Xiang Zhe, no divination, we can't arrive at Yun Temple. But this is still an orderly city. The Dushuo Festival is as vibrant as ever. You can tell that a Xiang Rei is not necessary for a city to prosper. Is that so? By the way, turns out you can read, can't you? Huh? You know that I can't read, Zheng. One can remove the footsteps, but not the path one walketh on. Oh, that's not what it seems to be. I heard it from the Taoist countless times, so I remembered it. Which Taoist? In the city? The Taoist I traveled with before I came to Pei City. The Taoist said many different things over and over again. I couldn't understand, but I remembered them. Sounds like you had a distinguished teacher. Since you came here, you've been treating people nice and kindly. Exactly the opposite of what Gertian has done. Ah, 
So his name is Gertian? Yes, Gertian. You said too many things to him. He is not the Xiangrei you are looking for. A real Xiangrei would never be so rude. It is very possible that he is only a uh, Yao that has been living on the mountain for too long. But why did he accuse me like that? I... I don't get it. Did I do something wrong? Because you are the Jirli. The former Jirli left because of what he said and did. Now he wants to play the same trick on you. What's more, when he got here and saw me, but not you, he acted quite surprised. You can tell from the details. Captured foreign lady, she? Don't worry. There are people searching for them now. As for us, we should confirm the details for tomorrow's fortune walk and bridge leap. Right, bridge leap. I almost forgot. If only the broken bridge could be fixed, then we wouldn't need those festive animals, nor to jump over the bridge. During Ge Tian's silence, I was thinking that... What if I can go to the Yuan Temple and ask Zhi Xu the Guardian? If the legend of the divination is real, then whatever the question is, Zhi Xu will answer me, right? I... I guess so. That is the whole story. Ge Tian is now detained in Jitsu's dungeon. Jiu Nangxi is there as well. Four hours ago, after discussing with the new Jie Li, we decided to keep the ceremonies of Fortune Walk and Bridge Leap. But no colored animals are used this time. The number of animals will be less than those in previous years of Jie Shi. Here is a list of ceremony members and funds. I've asked people to deliver the copies to all the streets. Thank you, sir. This is my duty. As for Ge Tian, we shall put him on hold until after the Du Xiu Festival, according to the law. One more thing. Have we found the horse and the proof? Not yet. The horse taking that foreign lady away might still be under the control of Ge Tian. There was no trace of them when our people chased them out of the city. I understand. Given the road conditions in the morning rain, looks like we will have to continue with the search after it stops. But I don't think a horse carrying a blind woman can go far enough to escape. I'll lead the search squad myself next time. Thank you, Fasa. I'm only doing my job. Where is the Julie? Are you referring to Jiu Nangzu? Or the former one? The one who went back to her hometown. We haven't heard anything from her yet. 
Perhaps it will come after the Dushuo Festival. Noted. Jun Yangzu is still green, so please help me take care of the Jutsu before the former one comes back. I will. She is kind-hearted. That is why I recommended her for this position. It will be my responsibility if she makes any mistakes. Well, there are so many things to do before the new year. It's fine even if she makes a mistake or two. Don't push her too hard. That's what I thought. If you find any evidence or the two foreigners, please let me know. Oh, another thing. The New Year's feast tonight. You're welcome to Jiu Nangxi's tavern with your relatives. The tavern? Are the people around the merchant's hub going too? Yes. She is hosting a feast for the neighbors. It is the New Year's Eve vigil, followed by the first day of Du Shuo Festival. It is an annual tradition at the tavern. Sure, Zhu. The new year. Hey, Right. Another year of the Jie Shi. Hopefully the Yuan Temple, which worships the Jie Shi, will bring us good news.
<laughs> Victory? Okay. But what does it mean to us? I mean, what does it prove? When we travel on the tundra, the sleet is the last thing we would like to see. The muddy snow water would be mixed with root pieces and infiltrate into your boots through every crack. Your legs would be dragged down and down until you can't lift them anymore. 